Uh, one of my favorite subjects, which of course is, is the American Indians. And this is another one of those quiet songs, so if you guys can help me out over here, just, just a little bit. I'll wait. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a quiet one, but um, it's the story of a group of Indians that are one of the cousins of the, the greater Sioux tribe. They're called the Nez Perce. And the Nez Perce were led by a, an astounding gentleman by the name of Chief Joseph. Chief Joseph was one of the last to ever surrender during the American Indian Wars, and in fact, he decided there was no way they were gonna surrender, so they fought. And the idea was they were going from below the Dakotas to Canada, where they were a lot more welcome than they were in the current state in America. And um, 300 of them fought off 3,000 American cavalry soldiers. I mean, crack soldiers, not just idiots. 300 of them fought them off for two or three months as they traveled up through the dead of winter, which if you've ever been to the Dakotas in winter, it is as close to hell as you can think about. I was there one year, it was minus 70 Fahrenheit, just so you know. We hear they close schools there for cold because if you go out and the wind blows on your face, your skin will crack and, and break open. So that's cold. So these guys are going up. They made it to within 30 miles of Canada, and then they, they didn't make it. Um, and they had to surrender, and there was only about 150 of them left. And Chief Joseph gave this amazing speech. Look it up. Um, it, it's obviously not the work of what we would call a savage. The man was, was kind of a Shakespeare of his own. So, have a moment here. I took some of those words and some of my own and put it into, the title of the song is, is his final words of the speech. It's called, I will fight no more forever. children I have lost, for the peace I've never known, for so long we've been pursued, across the wild blue, now my heart is sick and sad, and my home is lost from view. Can you take what no one owns? 